Hey guys, Swana here and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple but powerful e-commerce website for your local business. So guys, if you do home business or if you have a small shop, even if you own a big store, now it's time to take your business online by creating this e-commerce website. Nowadays, majority of people have their own e-commerce website and that's why we are going to create this e-commerce website for ourselves. So guys, we are going to create this website on WordPress. So if you do not know what is WordPress, well, WordPress is a simple and versatile solution for creating a website. There is no technical skills required to create a website, like you don't need to know about coding skills or any kind of web development skills. Okay, you can create your website by yourself according to your taste. So I'll walk you through step-by-step -step process how you can create your own e-commerce website. Moreover, I'll show you guys how you can list your products on your website. So without wasting more time, let's get started and let's jump straight into the video and I'm gonna show you how you can create your own e-commerce website. So let's get started. So our first step start with getting a hosting and domain. These are the two universal thing. Without these two things, your website will not be live. Hosting is a place where your website lives and domain is your website name. To start with the first step, let's go to the first link in the description box of this video and click on that. And it will take you to GoDaddy's website. Now click get started button right here. So in this search bar, you have to search your website domain. So I'm gonna search my website name over here and click the word search. So our domain is available as you can see. Now click select and continue. So in this page, you have to create an account if you don't have GoDaddy account. You can click on the button create account and this is a sign up form. Here you have to type your email, your username and password and your support pin. And then simply you have to click on create account. So I already have a GoDaddy account. So I'm gonna go back to that page and I'm going to click on sign in. So I'm going to log in with my username and password. So in this page, if you're just getting started with WordPress website, this section must be selected 12 month and your domain will be free for one year. Moreover, you can see that I've successfully logged in with my GoDaddy account and you can see my previous card under the payment section and my billing information. If you just created your GoDaddy account, then you have to type your billing information as well as your payment detail. So I'm going to add another payment method. I'm gonna click the word add payment and here you can pay this amount with net banking, debit card or wallets or UPI. So I'm gonna choose the debit card and then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click complete purchase so this is CC Avenue payment gateway so this is my billing information which is I'm gonna blur it out under the payment information I'm gonna select the word debit card and I'm gonna select my debit card type I have MasterCard I'm gonna type my card detail and then I'm gonna click on make payment Now we'll receive a OTP, one-time password. I got the OTP. Alright guys, now we have successfully got a hosting and domain. Let's go with our second step, which is installing a WordPress. Now click the word add site. So guys, in this page, leave the first option as it is, build a brand new site, as well as the data center should be the Europe which is recommended by GoDaddy. In the next field we have WordPress username and we have WordPress password. WordPress username and password allow you to log in into your WordPress dashboard anytime. So make sure guys fill these details carefully. So I'm gonna type my WordPress username and my WordPress password and I'm gonna click on add. It will take few minutes. So guys as you can see this site will be setting up on a temporary domain. You can add a custom domain later. All right, guys, now we have successfully installed WordPress. Now let's go to login into our WordPress dashboard. Let's click the word WP admin. Now click no thanks. 
and click OK. Now we have successfully installed a WordPress website, but you can see we don't have a custom domain over here. In order to change a domain, you can see the button right here, change domain. Click on that. Now click the word use a purchase domain. Now select the domain from this drop down button. So guys, I have already few domains. So I'm gonna select this one that we just buy with this package. Next click on make primary domain. It will take few minutes. So I'm gonna speed this video up and I'll come back once it's done. Alright guys, now we have successfully update our domain. Now click on WP admin. So guys, as you can see, we successfully change our domain. Now you can access your WordPress dashboard by going to this address, your domain name slash WP dash admin. Now let's close these tabs. If you want to see your site, hover your mouse over here and click on visit site. Open up a new tab. So this is your WordPress website looks like by default. Now let's move with our third step which is installing a theme. Let's go to appearance and then click on themes. Now click on the word add new. So in this video, we are going to create an e-commerce website. So we need an e-commerce theme. Let's come over to the search bar and type Astra and install this theme. Click on the word install and then click on activate. Now we need to install a plugin that comes with this theme and that plugin add the extra functionality to this theme. Let's go to the plugins and then click on add new and come over here under the search bar and type Astra and now click on the word install now. Now click on the word activate. So now we have successfully installed a theme and plugin and we are inside the plugin section. You can delete a rest of the plugins that we don't need. You can delete this one. Now let's hover your mouse on appearance and click on Astra sites. Now click on the word Elementor and come over here and click on e-commerce, which is our main topic. Under the e-commerce section, we have only seven themes. Some of them are paid and some of them are free. I like this theme. I'm going to click on it. Now click on install plugins and it will install Elementor and WooCommerce plugin. Now we need to click on import this site. Now click OK. So it will take a few minutes to import pages, posts and media from this demo site. So I'm gonna speed this video up and I'll come back once it's done. Alright guys, now we have successfully imported this site. Now click on done view site. Alright guys, as you can see, this is our e-commerce website looks like by default when you hover your mouse any of these products you can see a little preview and you can see a beautiful cart button right here as well now let's move into our fourth step where i'll show you guys how you can customize your e-commerce website moreover i'll show you guys how you can manage your products on your website first of all let's go down and you can see we don't have add to cart button below any of this product. Let's add that button right here. To do that, let's go back to the top and click on customize. Now click on layout and then WooCommerce and then shop. And here you can see add to cart and short description is disabled. To enable them, just click on this eyeball button now add to cart button is now available on our website. To verify that, let's scroll down and you can see we have add to basket button right here. You can disable or enable any of them by clicking on eyeball. Next I'm gonna show you how you can change your logo. If you have your own logo, you can click on this pencil icon. Here you can change your logo. If you like to remove this logo, you can click over here or if you like to change logo, click on the word change logo. And here, if you have logo on your computer, you can simply select the file and locate from your computer and click here, insert, insert logo or insert media. 
right now i don't have any logo so i'm gonna go to stock photos or maybe media library here i'm gonna change this logo with this dnk which is exactly the same i just want to show you how it can be done and then click on skip cropping and this is how you can change logo but I didn't change any logo, beg your pardon. And next thing I'm gonna show you guys how you can customize your menus. These are the drop down menu, and these are the simple menu which call pages, categories, something like that. In order to change anything from this menu, click on this pencil icon and it will take you to this editing menu section. Now click on the word edit menu. So, guys, this is all customizable. The things that you see under the men like shirt, jeans and jacket and shoe. This will create a drop down menu. Now come over here you can see we have this drop down menu. If you don't like this shirt under the men then simply select it and, and you can take it to the top. And now this shirt no longer exists under the men drop down menu. To create a drop down menu just drag this back under the men. Now we got the same type of menu that we recently have. If you like to add a few other items under this menu, click on add item. And here you can add anything from this list. You can add categories, you can add products, post pages, anything that you like. Let's go to categories and we have only uncategorized. We don't have any category right now. So let's go to the pages. And we have a few other pages you can add cart you can add store which is already under this menu so let's go to the product category let's try this fitness beer so now we have the fitness beer right here and it will show the preview on the right side you can see if you like to take this fitness beer right here you can simply drag and drop this after the home you can see once you're happy with your changes click on publish now let's go back to the dashboard and let me show you how you can manage your products on this website let's close the customization and hover your mouse over here and click on dashboard and now go to products and click on all products so here you can see all of the demo products on your website you can delete them by clicking on this bin button or maybe you see a trash button. You can delete them one by one or you can select multiple products and then you can select the drop down option by clicking on move to bin and then click on apply. And now we have deleted these products and you can go to bin under the bin we have these products and these products will no longer appear on our website. If you want to remove them from bin select multiple products by checking this box and select the drop down option and select delete permanently and click apply and now we have removed those products from our website permanently now click on all do the same thing by checking this box you can select all of these products and you can select move to bin and click apply all of these products will move to bin folder and there you can delete them permanently now let me show you how you can add your own products you just have to click on this word add new or you can click over here add new both does the same thing so over here you have to type your product name i'm gonna type here red t-shirt here you have to add a three minimum 300 words description of your products okay let me go to the site let's go to shirts let's scroll down if we have any red shirt no we don't have any red shirt okay uh, why don't we just select this one and uh, this is gonna be your description let's copy it let's go back to our post and paste that description over here and then and you want to add your product under any category so i'm gonna select the shirt if you don't have any category right here you can create one by clicking this add new category and here you have to type your category so i'm gonna call it t-shirts and click on add category now we have the new category over here t-shirts scroll down and here you have to type 
tags i'm gonna call it red shirt scroll down let's focus on on this section right here now go to the very bottom and click on the set product image go to media library so here i don't have any red shirt i think why don't we just select any of them just for demonstration if you have image on your computer you can upload that image by going to this tab and uh, select this option it will open your computer file location and you can select that image and click on set product image that's it i'm gonna select from media library so i've selected this image already i'm gonna click on set product image and scroll down now here you can add your product gallery image this image is the image of your product from side front or back and this will tells your customer how this product looks like from different angle okay so I'm gonna select this image just for demonstration purposes you can add more image if you like let's add this one okay now we have two images now go to the top so here under the product data you have to select a simple product and here you have to set your product price $25 if this product under sale type your sale price $15 and and there are other few options that I'm not gonna cover in this video so here you have to type your product short description so let's go back here and let me show you what is the product short description this is gonna be your product short description select it copy it i'm gonna paste right here just for demonstration purposes but you have to type your product description by your own and let's go back to the top once you've done these things and you can click on the button publish and it will publish your product on your website to see that product click on the word view product so guys we just added this product on our website so this is the basic information to add a product on your website if you want to know more about this woocommerce plugins then i highly recommend to check out the description box of this video i have a full in-depth video tutorial on woocommerce if you don't find that video leave the comment in the comment section below so why i'm telling you this let me show you let's go back to the dashboard let's go to woocommerce and click on settings so guys this woocommerce plugin need more time to configure it so i'm not gonna waste your time by showing you how this woocommerce plugin works but if you really want to know how this works don't forget to check the description like i said earlier okay all right guys that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and if you have any question regarding this video or any other video on my channel Feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll definitely answer your questions as quickly as possible. So that being said, goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.